All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark uh, Sharon's band. Uh, she's already been given her medication, so she's a little chill, right? You're feeling kind of relaxed. Um, I'm going to have you just, uh, if you could show me your lower teeth and flex those neck muscles. There we go. And there's a band there. And there's a muscle band there. And what we're going to do today, the first part of the procedure is we make a tiny little cut in these muscle bands. And we do it through little needle punctures where each one of these little dots are. So we're going to head to the OR. Today's procedure is my elevate, and we're going to start out. We're going to do a division of the platysma band, and then we'll inject some numbing medicine, and then we're going to do something called tunneling, and then we're going to treat her with the precision TX laser, and that's an amazing laser that tightens and tones the skin. After we do that, we're going to remove a little bit of fat, because all of us have a little bit of fat in our necks, and then the final uh, sort of ribbon on the uh, package will be placing the My Elevate suture. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you all the different steps. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna inject um, each little band site, the muscle band here. We do this with a little bit of uh, lidocaine and epinephrine. And then we'll inject a little bit under the chin, a little bit around each ear and behind the ear. And then um, we start the procedure and then we inject numbing fluid sort of everywhere, but we'll show you that in a minute. So we need to feel just a little pinch here. And here we go, Sharon. Uh, patients are very relaxed because she has had her medications and we're injecting just a little bit of numbing medicine here so that we can do the little cutting of the bands here in a few minutes. All right, so we're gonna start with dividing the platysma bands. We first use a little puncture device to make little punctures in the skin. Now we use the dermal clearing device. Let's go in the skin. This is used just to make sure that each little opening is completed. And then the next step is I'm going to lift up the skin here. We're just going to go through the little edge of the muscle here. We use the dermal clearing device to do this. Make a little tunnel. We've done that on her right side. Now I'm going to do it on her left side. Now what we're going to do is just divide the band. So we just take the rod and we go in the center here, just like this. And we just go through the band here on the side. We've already made a little passageway, just like that. You can tell that the muscle's above the rod there. Now I'll just back this out. So we're under the edge of the muscle. Now we're going to go over the top of it. So I came out, so I just kind of go in the skin here again. Now I'm going over the top of it. And I use a lap just to pull the skin over. There we go. And now we know we're just underneath the skin. So what we're doing now is we're just cutting the band. And we use just a little suture, like a little giggly saw. And you can see it just going right across the front there. And it's making just a tiny little cut in the front of the muscle band so that we can make her have a nicer angle here. And I can actually feel the depression right there. 500. So we just finished to messing and you can see with Sharon, um, she's got really fullness in her cheeks as well as the neck area. We put in 604 cc's. You can just look here, we injected behind the ears because we lift that skin up there. That's where we anchor my elevate. And then over here, we injected the cheek area because we're going to treat her with the Precision TX of her lower face and cheek area, as well as the right and left neck. And we treat all the way to the base of the neck with the laser because we want to really rejuvenate her skin, really from uh, all the way at the base of the neck, all the way to the area just below her cheekbones. So what we're doing now is uh, doing what's called tunneling. So we use this little cannula to uh, just tunnel underneath the skin. We're going to tunnel here and then down here. This creates the space to work in for my Elevate and also for Precision TX. So everything's numb, so she doesn't feel any of this. And we just basically just fan out the whole area. And it just lifts the skin up. So we're gonna do all of our work in this space. And we're gonna do it all with the lighted needle and thread, as well as the lighted laser fiber that you'll see here in a minute. But it's what we do. And then we're gonna do the neck area as well. So it's a real simple maneuver but an essential part of this procedure. And you can see I'm going all the way down in the neck. We're gonna pass the laser fiber under there and it really improves the quality of the skin at the neck area. So. And do you feel any of this, Sharon? No. Just hear the scraping and feel moving. Now we're gonna turn her head the other way and do the other side. So now we're gonna mark our zones where we're gonna treat her with precision TX. So we treat a total of five zones. And those five zones are the right face, left face, right neck, left neck, and under the chin. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna treat the patient with the Precision TX laser, and this is a directional laser, uh, which is really cool. So this laser uh, just fires, just uh, as you can see, it's lighting up my hand, and 
we're going to uh, pretend this is the undersurface of the skin. So you'll see the light coming up through the skin as we treat her. And we're going to treat the, the mid face or lower face area first. So here we go. And here we are. You can hear it popping. And see that nice light under there? That's the laser beam firing underneath the skin. And this heats the skin and helps condition it so that she'll get new okay. collagen here and it will tighten. So we're done with the laser and uh, you can see the swelling a lot of it's already gone down that's because she's absorbed some of the fluid and then the laser because of the heat it also vaporizes some of the fluid and now we're going to do liposuction so the liposuction will be everywhere but sort of under the jawline you want to give her that snatched jawline so we're going to go all the way around the angle of the jaw and back here just by the ear and then down here on the neck as well and then she had a little bit of fullness underneath her chin here, so we're gonna really concentrate on that area as well. So now we're removing fat. So we just inserted one of our little punctures here by the ear. And you guys can see I'm just right underneath the skin, going right around the jawline. Uh, very painless. Once we get all the local in, the patients just feel pushing and pulling and they hear the noises of things passing into the skin, but they don't uh, feel pain. So we'll do this side and then we'll do the other side and then we'll be done and we'll be ready to do my elevator. So far, we've treated her with the Precision TX, the laser. We did that of the face and neck area and under the chin. Then we just did our liposuction, so we removed some little fat deposits that were underneath the chin as well as all the way around the angle of the jaw. And then uh, our last step, now we're getting ready to do my elevate, but I just want to show you the neck contours before we do my elevate, so you'll see what my elevate does. I'm just going to lift your head up here, Sharon. You guys can see how that kind of drops down underneath. So let's just remember that, and then we're going to show you here in a minute once we do my elevate. Now we're doing the my elevate procedure, which is the final step, um, sort of like the icing on the cake. And we're going to use the lighted needle and thread, and the threads attached to the middle of this uh, needle, and we're going to pass it underneath her skin, and that's going to give her the snatched jawline. So this is our final step. So we just basically go right in the center here, and in the light, you can see it through the skin. And we're just going to pass this underneath the skin just from puncture to puncture to puncture and this uh, helps us build a um, corset underneath the skin that's going to support and shape her jawline so here we're just taking this little rod and we're flipping it and we're putting the light on and we're just going to go up here behind the other ear i'm just going right underneath here right to that little anchor point behind the ear. What we do now is we just pull all the thread through and then we just put a nice little clamp on the end of it. So what we're doing here is we're doing what's called encircling and engaging the ligaments. So we're just turning this little rod here and going around the ligaments here. And that's how we anchor it. And then we'll put the light back on so that we can safely pass it underneath the skin. And we can see it right around the jawline there. We just pull it through, just like this. And I'm just going to reinsert this from whence it came. So I just lift up the thread, it goes right in here. And then now we just flip it. The needle is bi-directional, which is great. So it can pass either direction. And that yellow light ensures that we're just right in the fatty layer and we're not too deep. There we go. So we're through there. Right there. And back. And we pull it through. I just want to show you here, this is kind of a cool demonstration here. So if you look at her neck, you can see this side is snatched, which is her left side. And that's the side where we have my elevate placed. And then if you look over here at her right side, it's not done yet. So this is how she would look if she just had lipo alone. And then this is how she looks with lipo plus my elevate. But we're gonna do the other side. That would be mean if we only did one side. And we're just gonna insert it once it came. Rotate it in the next puncture, and we just bring it out. And this is all really safe, it's just underneath the skin, safely away from any you know nerve or blood vessel or anything like that, which makes it such a nice, minimally invasive procedure for the patient with very low risk. Replace it, pivot it, and we'll put the light back on. We we'll just come right out there. This is where we anchor it again behind the ear. And you can see everything here is very sterile. Everything's been prepped. And now we're just gonna back this right. out. We always use the light because we wanna make sure we know right where the tip is. And we wanna be right in the fatty layer, not too deep. 
they're tiny. These will be open in just a few days. Flip this here. And get the light back on. We'll pull all this through. And now what we do is we just kind of pull this tight here and you can just see what my elevate does. You can see all underneath there. Just take the tape off so you don't need that. Laugh, please. And then we'll just clean off some of the fluid here. And you can see she's just got a beautiful snatched jawline from this. And there's a little bit of dimpling back here, which we always expect, and that goes away in a few days. But you can just see just the contours there. And we're gonna tie it here in a second, but it's gonna look just like that. So the last step is we just take the suture rod and we push the knot deep in the space. And then we use it just to sweep underneath the skin to make sure that that permanent suture is right down on the muscle where we placed it. And now I just want you to just look at her profile and just think of uh, how she looked before and she just had the lipo and the precision TX. You can see here that my elevate's really, really giving her that snatched jawline. And if we lift her head up here, you can just see the difference. She, from before to now, she's got this definition, support underneath the chin, just beautiful contours underneath here. So in summary, we've treated her with Precision TX. That'll take six months to a year to tighten the skin envelope of her face and neck. We treated her with liposuction. Your results are immediate to remove some fat deposits. We treated her with my elevate, and that's what lifts the underlying foundation to really give the snatched jawline. So we've really given her the one, two, three punch to address every area of her jawline.